and it sadly, I know a lot of business owners set out to achieve one thing, like they have a business goal, they want to help people with a particular problem and they, as you do when you set up your first business, I know I did, like I assumed I'd spend a lot more time working on the actual problems I solved than I do on the marketing and sales side of things. And actually the reverse is true. I spend 8% of my time marketing and selling, probably about 20% of my time solving things to my clients. And yeah. maybe at some point I'll be able to afford some team that'll help me change that, that bandwidth slightly. But, you know, it's, it's something you've got to accept. If it's easy, you're probably not putting enough effort in. Yeah. Lean into it. And this thing is plenty of ways to make it easier. But at the same time, you still have to invest that time in the first place to get it there. Yeah, I think that's probably the one thing that I, I take away from all, all the things that I do is that if I'm going to do something, I'm going to assume that it'll work and I'll put the effort in to make it um, rubber stampable. Yeah. Next time I'm difficult to do it. And sometimes I'll do that and, and the effort's a little bit wasted because actually it didn't work. So I'm not going to do it again. Not that time to be in a template or, or whatever, but nine times out of 10, it's there and I've done it the first time or I've done it the second time. Yeah. The first time. Template it up the second time. It just works. Don't leave it until you've done it five or six times to, to, to build that template out because you've wasted so much of your valuable time. I think that's, that's kind of where I like to see business owners. I, I just want to help business owners get back to doing more of if you're going to be doing market and do the right things, stop, stop doing things that don't work. And if you're, you know, you are a business owner, do as little mark sales, but acknowledge that when you're doing it, do it hundred percent. Yeah. Bill, is there anything else you'd kind of like to leave the audience with in terms of your experience on, in Mark in the, in the last stuff? while that you've been involved in it, what's, what's the tip way that you would like to share with the audience that you, you've learned through all the roles that you've held? 